Hey, this is Jeff Dreschler with Mainsail News TV. I'm here with Vortex Racing. Raf, I forgot again. Raf Colado. Raf hey, Colado. Hi. Say hi, Ralph. And okay. Captain Dave Wilbar. Yo. Hey. So, we want to talk a little bit about their program. They've got a fairly young startup program as far as uh, pure racing. Uh, started off, uh, I guess, with the J24 to see what you could get into there. Is that right? Absolutely. I, I reached out to Dave. Uh, we uh, acquired a J24 and started that program. Uh, and it's uh, from there we quickly realized that we needed to expand a little bit particularly to attract the kind of talent that we wanted so that's uh, that's what took place so now uh, we went from J24 went on to a J105 then uh, now we are racing uh, two J70s so we're pretty thrilled so I right? guess it looks like you're you're building the the foundations now with just a couple of the smaller boats in the racing program and then you're planning on building up to a full-fledged say ocean racing program rather than just round the buoys you want to be more flexible in that way well, we've got about a, a five-year plan, and we're into roughly the, the second year. And it, it, it always gets a little bit tough because we started out with a 24, really didn't do much of that, and they were down in the southern bay. Uh, and then we wanted to get the bigger boat, so we bought a 105. And as the guys who are watching know, the 105 isn't what it was even two years ago with the advent of the, of the 70. So we're going to kind of figure out what we want to do with the 105 and maybe come up with a, a different boat down the road. But we really are concentrating on the 70 program. We bought one and then almost immediately bought a second one so that we can tune and work together. And, and that's what we have down here at Key West right now. We've got two J70s uh, that are under the Vortex, uh, under the Vortex brand right now. And, uh, and it's doing well. We've, got a, we've attracted a, a bunch of top end college guys as well as some of our real good uh, local guys out of, out of Hampton Roads. And uh, it's building. We're doing immensely better than we did last year. We uh, changed sailmakers. And uh, so far, I've been pretty pleased with, uh, with our, our north uh, inventory so far. So, Dave, it sounds like in, in your next stages, as you're moving on with your program, you're really going to have to keep an eye on the market and see what boat is going to be the next great thing uh, in order to stay up with the times and attract the best. You're looking in that direction now? It, you know, it's like all of us know, it's, you know, you, you know whatever is going to be the next big boat. Uh, I think probably what we want to do is, is really focus on our particular 70 program and and you know, there's a lot of fine tuning stuff on that. You know, we're very fortunate. We've got three college coaches down here with us at Key West. We've got uh, our North Sailmaker and our crew, and this, and some other guys that are just you know really great sailors. And we're you know we're we're you know bottom end of the top third, if you will, something like that. Uh, but when you consider who's out there on the course today or this this last week, yeah, you know, we're real pleased. You know, with 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 where we are. But we recognize easily. You know, we need to get a, at least a full season. Of, of this year coming up of 14 under our belt where we really can fine tune the entire program. Uh, referencing where we're going to keep the boats, uh, we, we right now are tentatively thinking about uh, Fishing Bay Yacht Club. You know, they don't officially know that yet, but <laughs> but guys, they do now. Yeah, there you go. And then then another boat possibly up at Annapolis because, you know, Annapolis is, is the, you know, is the world, if you will. And we've already got guys, we have three or four of the guys are from Annapolis. And, and it's really just thanks to our, our, our college, uh, the, the coaches and all the people that they know, uh, being able to get the word out and bringing in some top flight people. And the more we attract that, uh, the more, you know, the better and better we'll, we'll do. And uh, as Raf has said, you know, the funding you know, shouldn't be hopefully much of a, you know, not a big issue. And, and so we're still developing. This is my first year. Uh, doing Key West and I was uh, the primary guy in the logistics and uh, trying to have logistics uh, and herding cats at the same time is, has been uh, exciting <laughs> certainly as, as well but it's been it's been great all the way around and uh, I just I, I think we're just gonna go up and up with uh, the support of, uh, of get my boat which is which is huge uh, I do want to do a shout out to uh, Rodney Pace who's who's running the J24 uh, program and he'll be directly involved in the in the underserved youth and then our 105 program Don Deloach will be the will, will be the boat cap on that so thanks guys yeah. uh, and so and they'll be running more local but the 70s will be traveling we'll be doing Charleston uh, Rochester and then you know the other the other major venues up in Annapolis of course as well and we'll see what we do with the 105 whether we take that up to NAs and as well as the 24 we'll see how that goes but it's it's all it's all and looking good in particular good. I want to thank my close buddy Basil Roland who has been down here uh, handling me and logistics he's been invaluable to to the whole crew and it's uh, I'm really glad that we brought him along he came along kind of at the last minute to help us drive and has really been uh, just 
marvelous. Thank you very much, Basil. See yeah, how that goes, but it's it's all it's all looking good. I just uh, I don't want to leave Key West. We gotta, <laughs> I mean, damn, it's 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 65, 70, and it's it's chilly. <laughs> In addition, uh, you know, Captain Dave is uh, is uh, a key member of the Get My Boat team as well as the leader of the. Uh, of the Vortex team, and he does a lot of uh, educational outreach, a lot of training programs. He's constantly on call to help people and provides a lot of the, uh, the subject matter expertise that's behind Get My Boat as it serves its, uh, its, its consumer base. And that's also unique because Get My Boat's probably the, in addition to being the leading boat uh, rental and peer-to-peer -peer boat marketplace, we're the only ones uh, fortunate enough or stupid enough to have to hide. To, to hide. No, not that it's not Whoa, good. No, 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 no. What I mean is we're, cut, no, cut, we're, cut. We're, we are not that, we are not that good at it, meaning us. Yeah. So we were very fortunate to be able to get uh, Captain Dave to be there and to do the kinds of education required for, for someone who says, I'm going to rent the boat, but I don't know this, I don't know that. Uh, they can be directed to a lot of the fine stuff that uh, that uh, Captain Dave does and puts out on the internet and, you know, all of those. So. <laughs> did, I, did I mention I'm an ASA instructor evaluator as well? <laughs> But to, to that end, also the education, uh, on the Get My Boat website, we've got a whole resources section. We have uh, uh, independent writers who are constantly writing article how-to stuff for both power and sale, and that's getting filled up with a couple of articles every week. So if you just wanted to go check things out, I think I did during Hurricane Sandy and Annapolis, getmyboat.com, getmyboat.com. Uh, two years ago during Sandy, I did a video on how to tie a cleat hitch. And I used one hand with my iPhone and tied a the basic small boat cleat hitch. That that little 30 second blurb or one minute blurb has had over 30,000 hits <laughs> on how to tie a cleat hitch. So obviously it's important. But there's all kinds of stuff in there. There's an article on on just the very basics of celestial nav, for example, uh, on on tides and reading tides and currents and that sort of thing. So it's a real smattering. So we invite everybody to come down and just. You know, just peruse through that stuff. It's a, it's a lot of good stuff beyond. There's no advertising in there. It's just a bunch of a bunch of boating how-tos. So yeah, as far as the locations now, we do want to talk about how you're bringing your crew together, where they're coming from, and where they how they can contact you to to uh, get involved in the program. Okay, well, good. Thank you. Uh, when we initially started, we just we really just had the the 105, and we had our our core core group of guys. And we really weren't we weren't able to get maybe either the quality we wanted or certainly the quantity. Uh, but then, as we started to meet uh, the head coach over at CNU, Max Plar, uh, our, our what I would call our crew chief, Mark Newman, and these are both you know top end college guys at this point. Well, you know, uh, Max is his head coach over at CNU. We started being able to have contact with with some really good of the you know the former college all Americans and guys who are now coaches. And that's really has kind of expanded the program. And I think as even it, down on Hampton Roads, then in Southern Bay, as people began to hear more and more about the fact that it's a sponsored program uh, as opposed to just a bunch of guys pitching in money. Uh, this year, we really had uh, a lot of homegrown talent. That's again, we talked about, about Rodney Pace on the 24, as well as Don DeLoach and his team from Stingray will be racing our 105 locally, at least uh, uh, this, this season. Uh, but we do need, we know we, we need the, we the bigger talent as well for our 70s. So by moving and hopefully up to Fishing Bay, uh, we know there's a lot of folks certainly out of Richmond, uh, and that gives us a real good contact with, uh, with the younger guys. And then certainly moving a boat up to Annapolis, which is probably in the, in the ballpark, uh, that will really bring us, and we've got uh, Colin Kirby with, with Quantum who's up there, and, and gosh, Ridgely's up there, uh, John Pierce is up there in, the, in that area. So we're, we're really hoping if we put a boat up there and start hang, you know, hanging that uh, Vortex battle flag out there, that we really can develop people and we'll end up, you know, just like all the programs, we'll have to do more flying people in. Thank you, Raf. And, uh, and uh, at some point, you know, in not the too distant future, we haven't even talked about paid crew yet, but that may be uh, something we have to consider as, as well. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a slow process. Like, like Raf said, two years ago, it was, uh, you know, myself, uh, Nick Scheuer, uh, Ed Gray, uh, and we were really just kind of getting things banged out, uh, and now it's it's gone from from that, uh, our basic core group of folks to to a much larger organization, and it literally is just now is is a small business. 
you know, as anybody who's been involved with this stuff, you know, it's, 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 it's I don't say it's P and L's, but it certainly is, you know, as Raf has said, and, and I will get it to you, you know, budgeting and in the logistics, not only before you get to the venue, but certainly when you get to the venue and how you're going to handle ground crew and all that. But, uh, you know, it's been a great ride so far. Thank you again, as always. And we're really looking forward to a, a great 14. And I think by the time we get to 15, uh, you know, next year's race week, I think we'll really have a good solid 70 program and maybe then be looking at that next 30, 35 footer. All right. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, I do want to mention once again that, well, if everybody turns this way, you can see that we have, okay, Vortex Racing, GetMyBoat.com, or Get My Boat. And, of course, this is brought to you by Mainsail News TV. We all have our <laughs> associated shirts on, okay? Um, and, Raph, you know, thanks very much for getting behind these guys and getting them down here to Key West because everybody knows that this is the place you can really test your metal. All right. All right. All right. Thanks again. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Just edit what he said out. Got it. I, what yeah. I said out. I like that part. Yeah.